Today we're turning down the lights and up the style with the top 10 VS Code dark themes. Hey everyone, I'm Jeremy, and this channel is your ultimate guide to VS Code. All right, let's kick it off with theme number one. Up first on our list is the official GitHub theme. It's been my theme of choice for a while. So to install it, I'm just gonna click on extensions and search for GitHub theme. And I'll just click on the first result and we can see that it has over 11 million installs. So it's quite popular. And I'm just gonna click on install. Once it's installed, I'll get a pop-up that allows us to set the new theme. I prefer the just normal GitHub dark and there it is. So here's what HTML looks like, CSS and TypeScript. This is the same theme that you can see on github.com when you're in dark mode. Number two on the list is another popular theme with over 6 million installs called Dracula Official. We can see that there are two options, Dracula and Dracula Soft. I think I prefer just normal Dracula. And here's what HTML looks like, CSS and TypeScript. Number three on our list is Not Owl. Here we can see that there are a couple of options for Not Owl. Not Owl, Not Owl with no italics, Not Owl Lot, which we are not interested in, and Not Owl Lot with no italics. Here's what you can expect with HTML, CSS, and TypeScript. Number four on our list is One Dark Pro. It has almost 9 million installs, and we can see that it has four options as well. One Dark Pro, the darker option, the flat option, and mix. We'll just go with the default option, and here's what HTML looks like, CSS, and TypeScript. Number five on the list is Cobalt 2 Theme Official by Wes Boss. It has over 1 million installs, and we can see that it only has one option. Here's what it looks like with HTML, CSS, and TypeScript. This was actually my theme of choice a few years back. I really like how brightly colored the text is while still being a dark theme. It's also nice because you can find this theme in several other applications like Warp, Sublime Text, Atom, and more. Number six on our list is Bearded Theme. It's an up and comer in the theme space. After installing it, we can see that we have a lot of options here. Looks like they claim 32 variations. After installing this theme, you're sure to find some variation that you like. I'm just gonna go through some of these quickly. Here's Arc, Blueberry, Eggplant, Reversed, Diamond, Diamond Soft, Emerald, Emerald Soft, Gold, Gold Soft, Ruby, Ruby Soft, Coffee, Earth, Monokai Black, Stone, Solarized. There's really just too many options here. Number seven on the list is DFS Space. It actually made my list on unique themes that I published a few weeks back. Here's what you can expect HTML to look like, CSS, and TypeScript. Number eight on my list is the Field Lights theme. Here's what you can expect HTML to look like, CSS, and TypeScript. Number nine on the list is the Horizon theme. After installing it, we can see that we have Horizon and Horizon Bold. The Bold option does exactly what it says. It adds some bold to the text. Here it is with HTML, CSS, and TypeScript. Before I get to my last theme, if you feel like this video is providing value, consider hitting the like button down below. And if you're interested in seeing more videos like this, hit the subscribe button. It'll really help the channel out. And now on to theme number 10. Number 10 on the list is Nord. And for some reason, the images aren't showing up for this one. But we'll just click on install and select Nord. And here we can see what it looks like with HTML, CSS, and TypeScript. And here we have a bonus theme, Tokyo Night. This theme is specifically designed to look like Tokyo at night. Looks like they may have nailed it. And here is what the theme looks like with HTML, CSS, and TypeScript. And that wraps up our tour through the night of the top 10 VS Code dark themes. For more tips on how to level up your VS Code, check out my other video on how to customize VS Code. In that video, we do a deep dive on how to personalize your VS Code to boost your productivity. It's all about making VS Code work for you in every way possible. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.